Let's get right into it. Got another custom e-bike build here. This is the Kona. I don't know what model this is. I thought it was the unit because it's a single speed. It might be a unit, but I'm not quite sure. I can't see any identifiers on it, but there's a Bob Marley sticker on it. So I'm just gonna call it the One Love bike. The Kona One Love. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout, professional e-bike builder, mechanic, converter, what have you. I'm gonna go over this bike and what we did to it and what makes this thing freaking sweet. So these are 29 by 2.4 inch tires. So these are massive. Just take it, take a look at this bike for a second. This thing is, this thing is sweet. It's got hydraulic disc brakes, front rack. I don't know what it is about a front rack, but whenever I see a front rack, wow, that's weird saying that that many times, but <laughs> I just want to put like pannier bags on here and just ride off into the mountains and just come back in like a week. I want to put a rear rack here, do the same thing, more, more panniers on there. So for this bike, we put the BBS HD motor on it, 68 millimeter. 750C display color. This thing is a huge, massive display. Got hydraulic disc brakes, so we've just put hydraulic disc brake sensors on it. No need for a gear shift sensor because it's a single speed. So because it's a single speed, I went with a 28 tooth Lecky bling ring for it. So that's gonna give it that torque. And you'll see here in the Johnny Nerd Out test how it performed top speed and hill climbing. We've got a 52 volt, 11 amp hour battery. So this, this, this'll still be good range. This'll have probably 20 to 40 mile range, I'm guessing, depending on how you ride it. Obviously, if you ride it like a motorcycle or scooter, it's gonna get less. But if you're pedaling with it, probably 20 miles to 30. You can see it just barely fits in here. This is like this, Geometry on this bike is great for rigidity and structural integrity, but it sucks for people like me that are trying to fit a giant battery in here. So this was the biggest battery that we were able to fit in here, and it it's in here. It's not coming out. So I had to custom drill holes in the battery plate and like slide it in there and make it fit in there. So this battery is not really removable right now. It's just it's in there. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's go do a giant nerd out test. Okay, so you could see top speed was about 25 miles an hour, which is pretty respectable. That was with the throttle, so you're not gonna be pedaling at 25. That, that chain ring's gonna be going way too fast for you to keep up with it. Um, and you can see we had our first fail for a mid-drive on uh, from a standstill doing that hill climb. Because this, the, this chain ratio, this gear back here, I think is a 14 tooth. It's just, it's not big enough to do it. So unfortunately, you know, if you could, you could replace that with a bigger one, if you put like a 22 tooth or something like that, then th this will conquer that hill no problem. But right now it's a good mix between like actual rideability of like keeping up speed and hill climbing. But that's the nice thing, even with a mid drive on a single speed is you just replace this or replace this and you could change that gear ratio. If you put a hub motor in here, you can't change that, that gear ratio easily i mean you could probably go inside and change those gear reduction gears in there i would not want to do that though this is just way easier just pop this off put a new one on pop up take this one pop up pop up boom new gear new gear ratio totally new bike all right guys thanks for watching see you later